Hello traders, welcome to this morning's Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market update. It is the 1st of September, we have a new month, but that doesn't mean that Bitcoin has any clearer indication of where it might be going. So, what we were looking at overnight, first of all, is I was streaming this last night when we were coming down into this daily level. We were looking for the daily level to get taken out and we were looking for those lows at the very least to be taken. And ultimately for me, I was hoping to see a move down and I had my alerts set around this 45 800 kind of area okay so i had my alert set just here if we had a move down into that i would have been looking for long positions now clearly we didn't get that <laughs> we once again as we keep doing when we come to this daily we had the swing failure and i have now actually just this morning taken a long position and i will explain that in just a moment so what we have here so again anyone who is in the crew membership we did have this downtrend that was going on so we were looking for shorts playing this short down here and what we've had now is this change of market structure and the position that I have just taken is basically out of looking for okay so here's the highs that have been taken so we have reference points both here and here to take long positions from so what we can do is first of all draw this along here we have a potential support area within this region okay um, obviously that's just <laughs> a weird line and obviously um, then further down we do have this support down here the additional confluence that we do have here as well is this little 15 minute order block that we've got so in order to take this trade i was basically just seeing some absorption on this 15 minute ob and yeah just a really kind of cautious scalp long uh, from this with also the safety net that we do have of this uh, session VWAP just below us. So once again we have taken out the daily open, we have come into this 15 minute order block and we're basically looking for a move now probably to continue this trend up but once again I do think that this is probably just coming into a take profit region for me on here so yeah I will just uh, actually set my limit orders so I can take profit on this. In fact are we just going to come straight through it? No, I will take profit on this very quickly. So we are at this super, super local golden pocket here. <clears throat> okay, so just as a little safety net in case we do get another move down that maybe comes into this VWAP. I've just taken profit, although we're going to get this continuation. And let's just go for the target here because this might happen whilst I am recording this video. Is I'm basically looking at from our high to our low. Once again, golden pocket here, which is has confluence with this weekly VWAP. So this is where I'm looking to close this trade. I was taking it at these lows down here and yeah, we're just looking for that continuation up on this. Um, other than that, I may look for a short at this point. We'll have to see what happens when we do get there. And uh, yeah, we do also have the resistance of this daily level that is just above here as well. Um, other stuff to go over on this is I guess the higher time frames that we do have so we did cover these again last night in the stream where I was feeling a little bit more bearish we're obviously now in this slightly more local uptrend but still in this downtrend with highs lows lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low is this going to make a lower high again so shorts still are well the trend is your friend and you have to say that if we do get a move up here, it would be a possible move in for a short position, maybe to come down and finally get into this next support zone down here. So, um, apart from on, yeah, Bitcoin, we don't really have <laughs> much else to talk about. Uh... Anything else that we can really see on this? We can just quickly do, I mean, I think I covered most of this last night. We've got a very balanced range here. Uh, the point of control is not that far ahead of anything else. Um, yeah, 
nothing really new on this I suppose on here at the moment so what we have seen so far is we just keep getting this continuous okay rejection around that golden pocket once again we move down rejection around the golden pocket once again we move down rejection again around the golden pocket some wicks above and if we're looking for this to continue then we are looking for this possible rejection again around the golden pocket on here and then the targets for that if we're just going to be doing continuous down trending on this is we'd probably look for your high to your low say your high is around here what was it 47 650 ish then we do have this one to one that is coming in around that area of support that we have highlighted on here so okay support is down here resistance is up here and basically any of these lines above are areas of resistance that we have to be aware of uh, okay the footprint again nothing quite on here we would potentially be creating yeah nothing there <laughs> tpa so we do have the previous day TPO point of control around this region that we are in at the moment. We could be looking up towards, oh, we do have the 80% set up in play, okay? So we do also have that again, why <laughs> I just record these videos. Uh, we do have the 80% set up as a potential play here. And yeah, that does give us a target up towards 48.150 with us, of course, 48K being uh, the take profit from this we did have this yesterday as well so we did have the 80 percent setup we did come in and we came into previous day point of control but didn't quite get up to the value area high so <clears throat> more or less complete on this before we st started seeing a move down that's kind of what things have been like recently with longs just not quite reaching target and then shorts slightly overperforming at the moment so we have to still be aware that shorts are the better play if we do come into this previous day point of control, 48k would be a yeah pretty obvious short position. Uh, the other thing on this as well is we only have this from our marker settings. Our, uh, the TPO itself, the profile itself is very much different. So we don't really have this in play from the profile itself here. Uh, we did take out these lows and we'd be looking for a move up towards this yeah, 47, 750 area on here. Which is that? So that brings us up again within this golden pocket and daily level um, on that chart as well. So, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of ums and ahs and everything on this video at the moment because you, we've really got to, yeah, search quite deep to find any reasonable setups to take nothing much going on on here uh, just have a look at a simple cvd what we can see from this so let me just zoom out and i will show the divergence that we do of course have against these lows so we can see how we continue selling all the way down here but not actually taking out these lows so there is that cvd divergence that is in play here which we did actually get previously as well so if we move this back to our previous lows somewhere around i can't remember <laughs> i can't actually remember where they were um ignore that yeah we do have cvd divergence on on these lows and uh, ethereum let's cover ethereum because that is still moving up now so actually i did i did sell a portion of my spot ethereum last night at this monthly level but of course we have now taken out these highs and we're now moving up towards this weekly so we do have the weekly up here there is this level to be aware of and of course just above that we do have another weekly level coming in now i thought <laughs> there we go okay so we did have the monthly close above this monthly um i was looking to sell this area wasn't quite sure if it would get it but we have had that close above this monthly level and that does set up targets again to the upside 
However, I do think at some point we are going to get a retrace on this. It's a, it's a bit, uh, yeah, just all a bit crazy from Ethereum right now. And yeah, you'd have to say we're still looking at resistance on here. ETHUSD moving up quite nicely again here. So once again, we were looking at a potential retrace on here to come down to lower support levels. But yeah, it clearly hasn't played out. Okay, so I was wrong on that idea. We did take a short from basically the wick that we did get up here, but it was holding this daily level. It looks like it could be a swing failure pattern. We were going to look for shorts if we came below this daily level. But for me, this was just a, a sell, not a short. <coughs> um, although we did take that quick scalp off of the that red zone that I just deleted. Um, but again, now we're probably looking up towards this daily level if this does get continuation. So we could see prices as high as like 41,800 before we come into our next resistance on here, which is, yeah, quite a long way up. There's not really anything left on this chart that is that significant. We do have this block here on the daily, which again, Again, currently holding us down so what we did get yesterday was we did get that resistance off of the lower bit and now we're through into the highs here so that to be aware of um, and that's about it so yeah it just looks like typical it's weird man my bias has changed like so much on, on Ethereum the last few days I think I did a stream the day before yesterday and I was saying about how this looks like just your typical bull flag kind of thing um, with this seeing a move up. Then what we were looking for was it did reach target. So we were looking at this to then retrace after it hit the target. But yeah, we're still getting continuation. So uh, yeah, <laughs> Litecoin. Again, Litecoin is one that is looking good. So I am long on Litecoin. So we have been holding this daily level and we are looking for continuation on that. Again, Litecoin BTC was holding this golden pocket region and yeah, never really got that dip down to the monthly level. Again, we were looking at if this flushed down, we were seeing potential support down here, but I am already in a long on Litecoin and I am pretty bullish on that as well. Uh, the next target for me is still $227. So we'll see yeah see how that goes so the position that i'm in looks a little bit like this well i don't want to see this daily lost and i am looking for a move up to that 227 dollar area um yeah uh nothing else really to to cover uh AVAX still moving up. Okay, so is that we have now got AVAX on? Is it AVAX or is it something else? Bybit just launched it today. Oh, AXS. AXS. That's the silly game, isn't it? Um, AXS. Axes or whatever. Uh, so yeah, we do have this silly game on <laughs> trading on Bybit now. Uh, I wouldn't want to be buying this. This is just ridiculous but we'll see how this goes it could continue higher it's in an uptrend so yeah i do want to wait for a pullback before i start trading this asset so we'll just have to wait and see when that does happen and um, we probably have some pretty serious divergences going on up at these highs here as well uh cool um yeah, that just about covers it for everything. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> so I am going to end this video here. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. If we do get some clarification really on the markets and which way Bitcoin is looking to go, like I say, a little local uptrend within a more medium term downtrend within, of course, a more macro uptrend. So we're about as neutral as we can possibly get in this scenario right now. We have our support below. We have our resistance above. We just have to trade it level by level and wait to see what we do get. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.